Hello everyone. It is so wonderful having you here. This is Benita and I'm very excited to give you an overview of the Discount Tools plugin. Let's get started. Before which, if you haven't yet installed the plugin, you can find the installation guide and the purchase link in the description below. Feel free to check it out. With that said, let's get into the video. Discount Tools plugin is an amazing plugin which helps you conveniently set different types of discounts across your store. Plus, it's very, very easy to use. You'll see why. Let's go to the WordPress dashboard. After you successfully install the plugin, you'll find it under WooCommerce here for Discount Tools. Click on it, which will redirect you, which will direct you to the plugins dashboard, which will direct you to the plugins dashboard, which looks like this. Which will direct you to the plugins dashboard, which will look like this. Now you can create your own discount rules by clicking on this add new rule button. Let me first quickly show you the different discount types that are available as mentioned earlier. Here comes simple discount, bulk discount and bogo discount types. Each of them have their own unique significance. The first one is product adjustment, cart adjustment and then free shipping, bulk discount bundle, buy X, get X, buy X, get Y. So these are some different types of discounts you can offer via the discount tools plugin. Let's first deal with the product adjustment discount type. Product adjustment discounts are very useful when you want discount to apply on the product's price. So if you want to do that, let's go create a simple store-wide 20% discount to understand this product adjustment rule better. I'm going to give a title here which says store-wide 20% off, which includes all products on our store. So let's select the discount type to be product adjustment. And next comes the filter. Here you decide which products are eligible for this particular discount type. I'm going to leave it for all products today. You can also select specific products, categories, attributes, etc. on your own. All right. Next comes the discount type and the value. You can notice there are different types of discount you can offer. It could be a percentage discount, fixed discount or fixed price per item. I'm going with a percentage discount and setting value to 20. That is all. We also have additional blocks in the rule configuration like rules. If you want to have some conditions added to this particular rule which are to be met in order for customers to qualify for the discount then you can click on this add condition button here you have different conditions that you can offer like card card items date and time purchase history shipping billing and customer etc great i'm going to not have any condition for this particular rule last but not the least you can also set validity to your rules after this set time and date is reached, this particular rule will expire. All right, great. Now let's save and close this rule. Now you notice all products are eligible for 20% off, which is a store-wide discount. We have four products added to the cart. Let me take you to the cart page and you will notice that a 20% discount is applied on each of them on the product's price, isn't it? So this is all about product adjustment. Well, the next discount type is a cart adjustment discount type. Now, the only difference between product adjustment and cart adjustment is that product adjustment applies discount on the product's price, whereas cart adjustment applies discount on the cart value, all right, which is the cart subtotal. To understand this, let me take you back to the dashboard. Click on add new rule. Again, we're going to go for a store wide 30% off discount across all products, all right, great. Now, this time we're going to select the discount type to be cart adjustment meaning the discount falls on the cart value and here i'm going to leave the filter to all products and set a percentage discount to 30 save and close this particular rule after you enter all the necessary details and let me show you what it looks like here we go we have the same four products added to the cart let me take you to the cart page now you can notice that cart adjustment rule does not apply discounts on the product price but they apply discount to the cart value. You can notice that a store-wide 30% discount is applied here. Great. This is the difference. The next important discount type, which is pretty popular in WooCommerce stores, is the bulk discount. All right. It's also called as higher pricing rule. So this allows you to provide discounts based on the quantities or products purchased by the customers. This time we're going to offer Discount based on quantities on a specific category called accessories. So let me go for bulk discount accessories category. All right. Nice. So let's select the discount type to be 
bulk discount. And then here comes the filter where we get to decide products that are eligible for this particular discount. As said, I'm going to be selecting a specific category. So category in list and select the specific category, which is accessories. Great. After you select the particular category in the filter, you can go ahead and set your bulk discount. Here you have to define the minimum quantity, maximum quantity, discount type and the discount value. You can also create different tiers for the same role. So let's first define the minimum quantity. I'm going to call one to five quantities of the products in the category accessories can be available for a discount price 10%. Next, click on add range. So six to 10 will receive a percentage discount of 15. Next, 11 and above will receive a percentage discount 20. All right, so this is the rule setup. I'm going to save and close this particular rule. Now you will notice that if customers add different quantities of the category accessories, they'll be able to get different discounts. Okay, so let me take you to the accessories category. Here we are and all of these products are eligible for this bulk discount. Let me try purchasing this particular belt, add it to the cart and take you to the cart page. Now you notice since there's only one quantity, you will receive it for a 10% off. Similarly, when you try increasing quantities on the card page, for example, 7 will receive 15% off. All right. Or if it is 15, then you will get it for 20% off. Right. So the discount changes according to the quantities of products purchased by the customer. Great. Well, the next few discount types are available in the pro version, out of which the first one is free shipping. So free shipping discounts we all are familiar with. No, there is no shipping cost. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and here let's click on add new rule. I'm going to give this a title now, which is free shipping. Select the discount type to be free shipping. That is all. Okay. You can also go for conditions. For example, if you want free shipping to apply only when customers buy more than a specific card value, for example, 100 and above, only customers have card subtotal to be 100 or above, they'll be able to receive free shipping. Let's test this by clicking on save and close. And here we go. Well, we are here now. We will have to purchase products for $100 or above in order to qualify for the free shipping. So let me go ahead and purchase these two products. Now, let's go to the cart page. And here you can notice free shipping is applied. You can also change the label of this name from the settings, which will be there in the detailed video of the free shipping discount tools. Please feel free to check that out. Next comes the bundle discount, which is a variation of the bulk discount. So bundle discount allows you to set bundle prices for products. Okay. For example, select the discount type to be bundle or set discount. I'm going to leave it for all products. And here I'm going to set the value. I'm going to set two for 70. This is the fixed price for the bundle, meaning if customers buy two, together then they will receive that particular product for $70 okay we're on the card now you can notice customers can buy two of these products for a fixed price which is $70 right great the discount is split and applied to each of the product this is all about bundle discount the next interesting discount type is the buy x get x discount type where you get another quantity of the same product for free I'm selecting the discount type to be buy x get x this time leaving the filter to all products and setting maximum quantity to triple nine meaning customers can buy one to how many ever products they want and they can get another quantity of the same product for free you can also give it for a percentage discount or fixed discount i'm going for free so that we'll understand better let's click on save and close and see what this works 
here we go let me just reload this page we have belt product added to the cart now you'll notice another quantity of the same product is given for free great this is all about buy x get x next comes buy x get y this is when you want another product to be given for free or for a discount price and customers buy x product all right let me select the discount type to be buy x get y this time meaning customers need to purchase x product and they can get another product meaning a different product y for free or for discount price so let's go to the filter and i'm going to set the x product here the product that i'm going to call is a beanie cap okay beanie with logo next comes the y product so you'll have to decide which product you're willing to give for free for that i'm going to select buy x get y products you can also go for categories and all but i'm going for products now setting the maximum quantity to triple nine meaning allowing customers to buy how much ever quantities they want okay so if customers buy at least one of this particular x product they'll be able to get this y product for free and the y product we'll have to define here I'm going to call this cap to be given for free and the, and setting the free quantity to one here. Meaning if customers buy one beanie cap, they'll be able to receive another cap for free. All right. You can also choose if you want to add this particular Y product either automatically to the cart or you can let customers manually add it by selecting the cheapest option. All right. Great. So let me save and close this particular rule. Well, now if customers buy this beanie with logo added to their cart, let me take you to the cart page. Here you can notice that a cap, another product, a different product is added to the cart for free. That is it. This is all about buy X, get Y rules. So these are some different types of discount you can set using the discount rules plugin. However, you can go for conditional discounts by adding conditions here. You have different conditions you can add. What are we waiting for? It's time for you to get the plugin installed and activated and benefit out of the great things you can achieve using the plugin. Plus, you can also feel free to watch the different tutorial guides we have for the various discounts in detail. Thank you so much for watching.